Vegas high rise. Racing. Sheldon got out well. If you want to follow that, it's in the red sleeves. Vegas High Rise in the black is racing up with a speed right now. Expeditioner. Lucy English two lengths off the leader. Rosara is over towards their outside. Then we drop further back to Godspeed. They three or four lengths off the leader. And Mini Coop in the red cap is tucked away behind them, but is racing down the middle lane. They go past the 600. It's Vegas High Rise, who is the leader from Expeditioner, Sheldon, and Rosara has moved into contention on the stand side. Lucy Ling English has made it a line of five, with two lengths away to Godswood behind that, and then came Mini Coop, and they three lengths off the leader as they go past the final 250. Lucy English and Sheldon now, and racing there between them is Expeditioner, but it's Sheldon has now come to the lead. Sheldon goes on by a length and a bit into the closing stages now, and Sheldon has got it solid. Sheldon by about a couple of lengths. There'll be a photo second. Miss Cooper's in there. Lucy English is also in a photo with Vegas High Rise. Travels against the bit. Now that you'll see, Gavin says, OK, let's pick it up and see what sort of response you've got here. And... Um, and you'll see that is the story here. So it is going to be is the cross the line number two, Sheldon. Sheldon has beaten home the six mini coupe with Vegas high rise. Well, it's a very good start for punters here. Race number one has been uh, run and won by the favourite, and that is number two, Sheldon. Lovely to have uh, Lawrence Werners and uh, the family on course. Of course, they're involved with Studio 88. And, uh, yeah, this one, uh, Brett, let's have a look here. Main Chance Farms and Gavin Arena, the winning jockey here this afternoon in the first race. In fact, when I did the preview, Gav, I said, um, you know, Gavin likes big days. He wins quite a few races in the big days, and that's a good start. Well, from your mouth to God's ears, it's just great to be on the board early in the day. It just settles the nerves, and uh, we can look forward to the rest of the day. Certainly can. It's, uh, I thought the temperature would be lovely now. It's not as hot as usual, which I'm sure is a relief for the jocks. Yeah, it's uh, you know, a little bit of a breeze blowing out there, and uh, please God, it'll be a good day's racing. Certainly will not, Kev. If I can ask you the track, um, I'd be surprised if you said anything negative. Yeah, look, it's in good condition. Um, it feels like it's running a bit quick, but uh, let's see how the day goes. You've got all your commentary, so I'm not going to go through the whole card. This is a big day. We don't have time for that. Well done to you. Lovely start. Thank you very much, Lyle. Big thanks to to Mr. Werners and his family, to Jared and Tessa and to Neil and all of them, well done. To Anthony and Rob and all the guys, fantastic stuff. And to Johan and uh, Justin for Mark. Um, I think they purchased his horse in Cape Town and you know he's done very well for us, he's been very honest. Certainly has, thank you. Thank you very much and a big thanks to Vogelbos, Drift and Mersfontein and obviously World, Sp World Sports Betting as well for the sponsorship today. Thanks Gavin Arena. he takes home race number one. Anthony, please step in here. He's representing uh, Lawrence Werners and the family as usual and that, that's better. Here comes the stable back in form. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd like to, you know, take my hat off to Johan. He's done a fantastic job with this horse. When we first, uh, you know, got him, he had a couple of niggles. And Johan's really done a great job to get this horse back to, you know, to, to a racing capability. And he's won, I think, three in the last five starts. So yeah. my hat goes off to Johan. And giving, and giving well. weight. Yeah. Him. And also uh, thanks to Justin for Mark uh, for obviously picking the horses for us. Great job. And you can see the results. The stable looks to be back in form, which is a good thing. And uh, good ride from obviously Gavin. And very well done to Lawrence, the family. It's a great day to, you know, way to start off a day like today. Um, just two, two things with you. Firstly, uh, Lawrence, very much involved with the Studio 88 Grooms, uh, Golden Grooms promotion. And I mean, that's a lovely thing. And we've got that today again. Yes, with, as you know, Lawrence and Studio 88 sponsor all the grooms, give them prizes for all listed and feature races. Just your thoughts, please, on one horse, Porto Manzano, over 1,400. What are your thoughts? He's uh, coming, obviously, uh, from a rest. I personally think he may need it. Um, Johan, obviously, has got him planned for bigger and better things going forward. He, he may very well win, but he, he might find it maybe a bit too short. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Well done. There we go. First race. It is over, and the numbers you need are two, six, three, and four. The favourites home. Well done to Johan Janssen Furen. He'll be here a little bit later. To Lawrence Werners and his whole family, and of course, uh, Main Chance Farms and Gavin Arena. Two, six, three, four. Next up, we know what that is. It is the bipod. First leg of the bipod this afternoon.